on almost every other album, I've been learning how to do something. This felt like all of the skills were already there, and all I had to do was just do it and enjoy it. And the only other album I could say that for maybe was my first album. It was so collage-based that it's just how I work. One of the things that I had a slight confidence issue with was whether people would actually accept it as a James Blake album. I was worried it was too crazy. What I worked out was that if I was worried about anything, it was that I would be rejected because it represented me completely. I loved it so much, I had to stand behind it then. The reason I have like 200 modular jams is because 140 of them sound like hell. I mean, that is grotesque. And I had to create 200 to get the best. Wow, that's actually quite cool. Hell is subjective, but they certainly didn't feel like music that I would listen to myself. They sounded discordant and atonal. And I needed to contextualize it all. I mean, even Big Hammer still sounds, you know, chaotic and, and, and atonal. Big Hammer still had a characterful hook in the synths. Synths can kind of make things that wouldn't work in a vocal or a guitar line make sense for some reason. Eventually, when I had enough modular jams, once I'd chopped enough of them into pieces of music and like, then I had an album and that's when I went back to the name. Okay, so I've got this phrase which tracks that I have works in the world of playing Robots Into Heaven. Only tracks that evoked feelings of ascension, certain harmonic structures, certain lyrics, certain vocals, certain synth passages would make it. I wasn't hell-bent on process being everything, but I think the core current running through the thing is this harnessed power of the modular synth. Your listening environment is really, really important. There's romance to what you're listening through. I like speakers that don't add too much in terms of artificial EQ or hyping up the high end or whatever. I like things that make vocals sound natural. And I think being able to hear all of the character of the way it's been recorded is important. Good if you're mine. Good if you're mine. 